Okay, heading out for some fly camping. Daddy-o, stay safe, have fun storming the castle. <laughs> see you in the morning. So I can see that the wind is coming from that mountain. But right now it's not too turbulent. by mountains but it looks like I could launch in almost any direction and there's some trees and I've never been fly camping there let's see how this one feels right here that looks pretty dang cool also shouldn't be getting direct wind too much a little bit sheltered. Ah. I like that spot. Flat area to pitch a tent. Trees for some protection. Can basically launch any direction. Right in sinking rotary air. I can set the glider down in a big flat spot here. Come in behind the tree. Give me a little wind shadow. And ha 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 Exactly where I wanted. Look at that! That is a cool spot. And I am happy with that. I got my tree. I got a flat place to camp. I got some antelope for dinner. I'm just all set. All right, this is my tent, my sleeping bag, and my air mattress, all in one pack. I weighed it before I came, and it's three pounds, four ounces. Three and a quarter pounds, basically, just over three pounds. The, uh, I might have to make this pack out of Cuban fiber instead of nylon. That might save an ounce. And then I found there is actually a new version to the air mattress I have that'll save another quarter pound. So I might be able to get this pack under three pounds total. But right now, it's just barely over three pounds. So that's everything. But check this out. We're going to set everything up, get all camp going. And this is everything right here sleeping bag this is basically the lightest sleeping bag in the world uh, so take that over there and then we got the lightest tent in the world this whole tent weighs one pound and then we got the lightest air mat the second lightest it's no longer the lightest there's a lighter version of this air mattress so I may have to get that. Gotta have the best stuff. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Another great thing about the flat top, 
is you can just lean it forward on the comfort bars. Super stable position, keep it there safe all night. So even if big winds come along, it's not gonna blow and fall over. And I got my glider locked under the unit. Sometimes I bring a bigger tent and I'll bring this glider in the tent with me, but I think I'll be fine. It should be warm enough tonight. But look at this view, look at this spot. Is this the dream or what? Living a dream, baby. <laughs> so awesome. Look at this. Hey, this is Dell at Flat Top Paramotors. You sent me a message through our website to give you a call. So I am calling you about going flying. Let's go flying. Give me a call back, 800-707-2525. Thanks. Good morning. This is one of the coolest times of fly camping. It's when you wake up and this is your view. Check this out. Woo! I slept warm and toasty. This sleeping bag works pretty good. Extremely lightweight, 30 degree, actually 40 degree bag. And uh, I was a little, just a little too warm. Not really too warm, just kind of on the warm side, but boo yeah. And of course, flat top comfort bar bag makes a nice pillow. You just put your jacket in it and your gloves and anything soft or whatever, and bam, you get yourself a pillow. Works awesome. Flat top comfort bar bags, man, we got it all taken care of. Okay, so I'm here at Maverick. I just bought some breakfast burritos. About to go uh, fly up to the top of the mountain to meet up with Papa. Good old Superdale went fly camping overnight. So I got some breakfast burritos. We're gonna bring him some breakfast. I'm gonna set the timer. Let's get that stopwatch going and see how fast I can go from this Maverick down at the bottom of the mountain all the way up to the top of the mountain. Here we go. Made it to launch site. It took about 12 minutes to get here. Oh, dad's gone. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm at the bottom. I just got to the launch site. Oh, you just got there. Okay, all right. See you in a few minutes. Okay, see ya. Love you, bye. Okay. All right, bye. Got the burritos. Some water. Let's go. One, two, three. This could be uh, quite the adventure because he's going to have to land going down a hill. But it's Super Jordan. Bring it. And. Boo yeah! That's my boy! <laughs> Super Jordan on top of the mountain joining me for breakfast. Look at that! And I thought it might be a little tricky. That's super skills and a flat top. It is pretty tricky because you land on top of a mountain and uh, you've got rough ground, you got rocks, you got potholes. You don't know what you're tripping over. So it is pretty easy to trip and fall down. That's why you don't go fly camping without a flat top. Because if you biff it, you don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere. Super Jordan here. That's my boy. I brought 
breakfast. Who yet? You brought breakfast? Yep. What'd you bring? Breakfast burritos from Maverick. Too awesome. So from Ooh, yeah. Maverick, from Maverick to the top of the mountain, it took me 37 minutes. 37 minutes? And that's including minutes? the 13 minute drive. Hey, did you bring me some burritos? I did. Yeah, sweet! <laughs> I got me some breakfast burritos. Break out the breakfast burritos. Did you bring some drinks? I did. I brought water, yeah. Sweet! Sweet! That's my boy! And they're still warm. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast burrito! Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. It's so easy. Yeah. Look at it. That's like nothing. I mean, this thing is literally one pound even on a scale. That's the nice thing about having real comfort bars. Is a solid frame with which to mount things. Flat top, baby. Not just a bunch of floppy stuff. Yeah. Just swinging all over the place. It's really nice to mount all sorts of things: cameras, accessories, GPSs. And it doesn't affect really how much anything that works. Nope. We are ready to rumble. Super Jordan launching off the side of the mountain. Flat top mountain. Fly camp mountain. Cool thing about the flat top 200R is your throttle cable is right there. You're looking right at it. With the Viterazzi, it's upside down and sideways. It's really hard to see. Nice man, let's do it. Flying a 16 square meter. Ooh la la. That's my boy. Woo hoo hoo.
Thanks for breakfast, son. Nice landing. On the mountain? Yeah. It's always a little tricky landing in a pile of rocks and weeds and stones. Oh, these weird things, yeah. Yeah, and gopher holes. Ooh, hey, I wonder if Brooklyn has her tent. If we could borrow. <laughs> the, I don't, no, I don't have two of the same one. The other one is the Guinness Book of World Record lightest tent. Yeah. But it's two pounds. Oh. Instead of one pound. So it's not as light as the non-Guinness Book of World Record. 